Hello guys, it's now possible to create games using your own neighborhood. By using Google Maps API together with Cesium, you'll have the whole world in 3D at your disposal. In this video I will use Unity, but if you're working with Unreal Engine, it has similar functionality. Over here you see me flying over my own house. And I've decided to move the Eiffel Tower to my own hometown. I think it fits right in. In this video you will learn to create the necessary accounts to work with Google Maps. Then you will modify the example game to make it fly over your own neighborhood. After that you will be able to create your own games and projects using Google Maps with Unity. First thing we need is a Google account. We are going to go to accounts.google.com slash sign up and we're going to insert a name. If you already have a Google account you can of course skip this step. I'm going to go with Peter Unity demo and I'm going to set my date of birth. It's not that important to do it correct at the moment. So once you got your Google account, you can go to console.cloud.google.com and you can sign in with your new account. And over here you can create new projects. I've already created a few projects. So you can create a new one like this. But um, you can't do anything in that project yet. Because first you need to start a free trial account for uh, Google Cloud. And you can do that over here. Or you will be prompted to do so once you try to access the API from within the Google Cloud. Um, so then we need to fill out some information. There are some um, some fields you need to fill in in this form, but more importantly, you also need a credit card number. You won't be charged on that credit card if you use the free account, but they still want you to input that information. So, unfortunately, you need to have a credit card to be able to perform this step. So, once you've done that you can use the API in Google Maps. Okay, so I'm now logged into Google Cloud with a, an account that has a credit card connected to it. So I have the free subscription and I can create a project that can access the Google Maps API. So for that I'm going to create a new project. Let's call it uh, Unity demo Peter so I'm gonna select the new project and we're gonna go to Google Maps platform as soon as you click on the Google Maps platform after you've created the project you are already presented with an API key I've made that key black because it's private but you will have your own key that you can use during the game. Let's choose not to restrict it for now. You can find the API keys also over here in the credentials. One thing we need to do is enable the tiles API. So the map tiles API need to press enable.
and after that we're done for here you also need to create a session account so you can go to this um, address and then you can sign up with Google with the account that you've just created now let's download the program go to my github account and to the repository Google Maps game and you can either clone this repository or download it as a zip I will now download it as a zip okay I've downloaded uh, the zip file and I'm gonna extract it over here I assume you've already installed unity but if not you can download it over here so then we go to the unity hub and we're going to open the, the, the project when you've opened the project you will notice a menu item CCM over here if you click it a menu will pop up and you will need to connect to CCM with the account you just created you will be redirected to um, the login screen and you need to click allow to allow CCM to use uh, your project after that you can close the browser and you can um, create a token over here I've already done that so we don't need to do that for this project anymore but if you create your own project you will need to create a token first after that you can uh, click this plus to create uh, a new blank tile set and you can also create a camera so I've clicked and I've added the tile set over here you see that I've already have a tile set in this project so it's not necessary to create uh, it anymore but uh, we can compare the original default settings with the settings of my um, tile set and you will notice that there is a few things that are different um, I've fine-tuned this uh, tile set to make it uh, look much better I've increased the cache size quite a bit so you get more data loaded in and cached in your system um, and also these variables are uh, much more fine-tuned to having a nice uh, view on your um, flying game if you have a different type of uh, game you might want to change these settings over here you'll see that I don't use uh, the source from CCM Ion but I directly use Google API and therefore I need to put my key over here so what you need to do now is replace this part with the key you have just created in the Google Cloud Console just entered my API key over here and you'll see that uh, the data gets loaded we can remove this default uh, tile set that we just created it's also important that you have a dynamic camera in your game because this camera is used by um, CCM to obtain the uh, data from the Google Cloud from the Google Maps so um, as you can see I've um, deselected all of these options the only thing you need is the camera but if you don't have the camera it won't work here's what happens when you don't have the dynamic camera enabled you don't see the tiles at all so at the place where the camera is at the location of the camera all the data will be loaded from Google Maps 
so it's important to keep the camera uh, at the position that the player is so uh, in this game I have my own camera over here so I'm not using this dynamic camera because I took this uh, camera from a game and it's uh, just uh, useful for showing the airplane so I want to keep it and therefore I've added the follow script over here and this script is very simple it just copies the location of uh, my camera to the cesium dynamic camera over here you can see the follow script so it's just copying the position and rotation of the camera that I'm using so I've set it to use this camera here is what happens when you don't use the follow script you see that some parts of the map are uh, sharp because that's where the dynamic camera is but the further you move away from the position of the dynamic camera the more fuzzy it will get and over here you see that you don't have any details at all anymore and then we can add our own objects to the scene just like you normally do so I've added the Eiffel Tower and a sign at the location of my house the game I'm using is actually a, a stripped version of the airplane game I've created it in earlier um, tutorials so we've got our uh, airplane prefab over here that will be instantiated and we can fly around and even fire bullets and missiles but all the other stuff I left out so I've also removed collision so we don't collide with this landscape so by default you will see the location where I live on the map but um, if you want to change it it's quite easy you go to uh, this game object and over here you see the coordinates of the location we are now it's easier to work with the longitude and latitude so we can go to Google Maps and go to for example New York uh, let's go to somewhere on Manhattan maybe in Central Park and let's copy this location now we can paste it into um, these fields and soon you will see the data of New York loaded okay it took a while to load uh, all the data for New York but now we are actually flying over uh, Manhattan this is Central Park and you can see that we can easily move to any place in the world by using the Google Maps API you'll notice that this game object that I created myself is no longer at the proper location that's because we've just uh, moved the geometry of the map but not of the uh, game objects themselves if you want to keep them at a certain geometry you can create a sub scene that's also a function of cesium we got our Eiffel Tower it's a bit higher because my city is a little bit uh, not on ground level but if we would fit uh, the Eiffel Tower inside uh, New York it would look something like this it wouldn't be that noticeable with all the big buildings in that area please be aware that there is a limit to the amount of data that you can use during a day when you're using the free 
account of Google. Over here you can see the quotas and uh, on this day I have exceeded the quota. After that um, my game will not work anymore and the tiles will not load in. You will receive an HTTP 429 on your uh, API calls to Google Maps. What you can do is create a second project and use that API key for a while during that day. Okay guys, that's it for now. Have fun creating your own games using Google Maps and Unity. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next one.